Let's move this closer. That's better. Cool. Hey guys, welcome. Today we are doing a case-based discussion with Masuma Rufsi. I'm just going to wait for her to join us. Um, interesting case, immediate dental case. We'll uh, get into it as soon as I see her joining. Oh, Instagram's changed everything again. How do I uh, find you all? Let's add in Masuma. Cool. Yeah, so we've got a case-based discussion. Nice, interesting case. Um, and here's the person to talk about it. How are you doing? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Yeah, I got you. I just thought it wasn't working for a second. Uh, Instagram's changed everything right now. Mm -hmm. um, so what we'll do is we'll do the uh, the case via my laptop, uh, and I'll show you uh, you guys the the screen. So you'll lose me, but you'll have Masuma. Um, yeah. So just a little bit about yourself. Tell the guys where you're working or studying and. Uh, the very basic information about the case, then we'll jump into it. I am a D4 student, a dental student, of course, fourth year, final three months left for me to get a DDS here in the U.S. And today we'll be discussing a case that I did uh, for a patient who lost most of his teeth due to periodontitis, which was bought on by his liver transplant. And uh, he had to go through a liver transplant because of liver cirrhosis, and then it changed into liver cancer. So yep. he was undergoing a lot of treatments, which affected his oral health. And uh, we'll be discussing how we treated it and how the case is going so far. Cool. I just need to bring my laptop up a bit. I hope you guys can see that there. Um, there we go. Maybe a little bright. There we go. So this is the pa patient information. Is that big enough? Can you zoom on the slides just a little bit? Yeah, hold on to it. And that's, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we've got the slides ready. Uh, I don't know. Instagram has changed the whole uh, Instagram <laughs> live thing, so I don't know. It's not letting me put photos on screen at the moment, so uh, okay. this will make do. Uh, so yeah, you've got a male 55 years old, isn't it? So what does he come in to kind of say? Uh, he came in, um, he was referred to me actually because of the language barrier that he had. Uh, so I bought him in, did the whole workup. He had very interestingly, a very, very curious personality. And he had been going to a lot of uh, corporate practices around California. Uh, and they were giving him these uh, all the options for all on fours and uh, complete rehabilitation. But not, no one was telling him about the health perspective and the immunosuppression that he was under that we're going to have to take care of so many factors before we can put him under severe and extensive surgical procedures for his rehabilitation. He's presenting right. a plain was that I want to be able to enjoy my food. Uh, my wife makes really good food, so I want to be able to enjoy that food. And uh, the term here on the screen that shows I want implant-assisted overdentures, this was the term that another corporate practice had put in his head, that that's your best treatment option. So that's what he came to me as, yeah, I want, I want to be able to enjoy my food, and if you can put an implant-assisted overdenture for me, That'd be amazing. I was a little shocked that how does he know all these terms? Uh, so it turns out on the personality examination that he was uh, going to a lot of uh, other dentists and doing his own research. Mm. Um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, he had a liver transplant about six years from today due to liver cancer and liver cirrhosis. And as most of us are familiar for cancer, patients have to go through radiation and chemotherapy. 
and after his liver transplant he was under a lot of immunosuppressant drugs uh, which were the reasons of his um, periodontal health getting all messed up and he started losing his teeth one after another right yeah so it's uh, quite a severe kind of reaction he had to mm -hmm. uh, that particular condition and everything that goes along with it this is a bit of the medical yeah. history let's move that across into screen there guys yeah every everything that i just mentioned liver cancer cirrhosis and uh, he also has very interestingly idiopathic angioedema mm. which uh, doctors have not figured out what triggers it what causes it but he just gets this reaction and then he has to go under severe steroid therapy to calm that down. That was one of the more uh, significant things that we could not just jump into surgery without taking that into consideration. Yeah. And he also had a gunshot wound to the, to the stomach as well. Uh, so he's from Pakistan. So that's very common back there. So I did not put much Push stuff. On that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got a bit of the social history there. He's uh, yeah. a taxi driver. Mm -hmm. He he likes to talk. He likes to socialize with his clients. So he's like, I don't feel comfortable talking to them without my teeth. Um, he was a little thankful for COVID that he had to keep his mask on. But still, he wanted to get back to his social life as it was before. Yeah. Uh, more reasons to seek oral treatment. Yeah, and we had a bit of the dietary sort of stuff as well mm -hmm. there as well. Okay. Um, uh, dental history. Um, uh, to begin with, he started seeking uh, help with his dental treatment after he started losing his teeth. When he came to me, he had some treatment partials put in for his uh, upper and lower arches. And they were just hanging on to his existing teeth, uh, which were... Uh, I think 15 and some of the teeth on the other side. But of course, the plan was not stable. Those treatment partials were not giving him anything, just like a fake aesthetic that, oh, yeah, this guy has teeth. But they were not uh, doing any function for him. He wasn't able to chew anything on it. So he wanted something more stable, which he can uh, enjoy his food with. Yeah, that's that's kind of fair enough. Tooth Crit here says, it says it's not very common to get shot in Pakistan <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> um, all the treatment's done here. Okay, so then this is kind of the history that he's had. So uh, should we move on to kind of your, yeah. your periodontal status? I think that's probably a bit more in line with the case. And okay, let's zoom in. Yeah, so, so do that. The, these are the pair chartings when the patient showed up and we did the initial workup. You can see there's so much attachment loss. Uh, he had severe recessions. He had um, severe mobility. The only two stable teeth in his mouth were 28 and 21, which are yeah. lower premolars. And that's it. All the rest of the teeth were mobile with uh, class two furcations on the molars. And there was no point for us to keep that. We could not um, get any stability to any prosthesis with unilateral teeth on the upper arch. Uh, Periodontal status was uh, severely compromised. Uh, clinical attachment loss ranged up to 11 millimeters. Pocket depths were one to three, but recessions were so severe that clinical attachment loss ranged up to 11. Yeah. And then we've got this bit as well here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just tooth by tooth. We had grade one, grade two mobilities everywhere. Furcation was class two on number three, which is the upper molar that was left. Recession yeah. ranged from one to eight. Oral hygiene was really bad. Uh, patient was not doing good with his brushing, his treatment partials. When I examined the partial dentures, they had these layers of plaque all over it. So it was a given fact that the teeth are just inviting more bacteria in. Okay, and then we have periapicals from uh, the full mouth, basically, isn't it here? Yeah, there, so there's curious lesions on every tooth. tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this on, on the root surface as well, which is even even more difficult to sort out. Yeah, I it just there's like it's, there was no way for us to 
there was a way to save teeth, but there was no point in saving them. You couldn't put anything on these teeth. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of had all this. So then we've got panoramic as well. Mm -hmm. which, Just uh, to examine the bone levels and uh, where his IAN was. The only good thing that we got out of the natural teeth in this case was that we were able to harvest uh, the sites of 21 and 28, which are lower premolars, in order to place implants there. Uh, bone quality, as you all can see, is not very nice in yep. the rest of the mouth. But these were the two sites that we were able to graft at the, at the time of extraction. And now the patient's getting implants at both of these sites in coming week. So that was How are you uh, assessing bone uh, quality from the pan? Uh, just the levels of the bone uh, for the upper, as we can see, if you focus on the upper, the sinus floor is just on the crest of the um, maxillary bone, tuberosity and maxillary sinus floor are just right next to each other. So there's no way you yeah. can do implants without doing severe grafting procedures or you go ahead, do a sinus lift. And uh, since the patient is already on immunosuppressants and... Mm -hmm. And his angioedema can get triggered with stress, with anything. Like the only thing that he could tell me was stress, but doctors have not been able to diagnose what's triggering that angioedema. Yeah, so specifically. We to, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had. Yeah, to and we can see this decent, in. this decent height here for you know mm -hmm. your uh, and implants. And we all know. Yeah, anterior mandible is a good site to put implants in anyway. So yeah. that was that was a. Not too bad. And then we've got clinical photos so we can see a little bit more. I've got to line this up again so we can see there. Um, waiting for California Wi Fi to catch up with us. So we'll uh, get my zoom in in a second. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Let me try and get Masuma back. We just lost her. Um, let's see. How do I have people? Yeah, Instagram has changed this whole thing, so I'm uh, looking at different areas to get people in the live. Let me turn on the requests. Yeah, a very interesting case so far, and Hopefully, we can just take up a few little bits of in interesting information um, from from cases like this. And you know, Masuma's in dental school right now, so these are these are interesting cases for guys to uh, for you guys to see. I don't know where she's gone, guys. She's not even on the live right now. Um, we'll give her a second to come back in. Yes, Hannah, it's it's a it's a nice case actually. I mean. I think it was interesting to see here the amount of bone loss, and you can see that, like she said, the floor of the uh, sinuses are right in the in there with uh, where you would be wanting to stick your uh, implants. So not an easy one. You can look to more complicated procedures, but it wasn't possible for that patient. You're back. I was just yes, waffling. I... I was waffling. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> We got up to the photos. We we're just showing the photos before you uh, lost signal. Oh, okay. So these are, uh, you can hear me, correct? Yeah. Okay, all right. So here are the photos, uh, clinical photos at the presentation of the patient. Uh, we can see the gums look good, but as we started probing around these teeth, they started bleeding and uh, everything just went south yeah let's try and get a bit closer in here so we can see yeah so on these molars you can see how curious these lesions are and you can see how much plaque buildup there is yeah so this is on one side let's scoot across the other side Got down by the uh buckles yeah. as well yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, the texture the seems very soft on his um, left side, he had lost his teeth a while back, so 
the crest has gone all um, up to the level of that sinus. Oh, we're talking the top here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Top, yeah, you yeah. can see that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's, no, it's a lot of loss severe. there. Mm. Yeah. On the palate, you can see how that premium parsha was indenting on the palate and not providing any support of any sort. They haven't mm. used they haven't used hard pellet for that stability or support. They were just hanging on with these wires on the te existing teeth. Yeah, so you can see quite difficult case, especially with what well, I would say the upper is going to be quite difficult here because of that loss of mm -hmm. um, tuberosity in your post dent area. Uh, yeah. Especially with me being not very good at dentures, I would be not too uh, not too looking forward to it. Let's say <laughs> that. Right, so let's get on to our diagnosis. Yeah, diagnosis was, uh, uh, according to the new classification of periodontitis, it was stage 4 grade C, since the patient is so young, but he has lost over um, five or more teeth, so grading it, and he had severe, severe clinical attachment loss, categorizing it into grade C, and... Uh, Endodontic diagnosis, all teeth were vital when he came to me. Uh, restorative and prosthodontic diagnosis, Loads. he had yep, he had decay on every teeth, even on root surfaces, so there was no point saving any of those teeth. Restorability mm. was absolutely minimum. Um, occlusion, yeah. yeah. He had uh, occlusal stops on one side, so we got stable video, but that's pretty much it. Risk assessment, again, immunosuppression. He was severely immunocompromised at that time. Yeah, the video is quite important, isn't it? Actually, I was going to I was gonna, uh, make a note of that because you kind of can see how, how mm -hmm. much height you've got to work with. Whereas if you've yeah. lost this contact here, then yeah. we're maybe looking at... Sorry, if you've lost this contact here, guys, if you can see that, then you're, then you're guessing as to how much... Um, vertical dimension we can work with and what he can tolerate so that was probably good that you still had that uh, okay let's go back to where we were uh, yeah yeah so generalized heavy calculus of course given the poor oral hygiene dk from three to seven and all missing teeth the lower teeth for some reason did not get any decay but all of the top teeth had decay on it mm. yeah Okay, and then we have the treatment objectives here. Yeah, so of course we have to pay attention to what the patient is presenting us with, and he uh, wanted full mouth rehabilitation. So we treatment planned it to be immediate danger because the patient uh, told me that he's a taxi driver, how he likes to interact with people. He cannot go without teeth in his mouth. So we're like, okay, we can present you with an option of immediate where we take all your teeth out and give you then the denture at the same time. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. And we have here the options that you've given. No treatment. Uh -huh. Let's just move away from that. We never, <laughs> we never do that. Well, we do do that, but Sometimes. it wouldn't be a very good case presentation if we didn't, uh, if we did that. Yep. Uh, so he was presented with two um, options, of course. Um, both of them had immediate dentures, uh, but uh, for the bottom ones, uh, we told him that if you do not want to go for implants or your health doesn't allow us to go for implant surgery, we can do root canals on your premolars and dome them um, and then use them as a tooth supported over denture for the lower arch, which mm. is going to give a little bit more stability. Uh, rather than you take all the teeth out and just give a lower denture since we do not get as much retention on the bottom anyway. So we just wanted to utilize every single thing that we had that we can use. Yeah. Other uh, option was... Mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah, go, go for it, go for it. Okay. So the next option which the uh, patient opted for was... Um, implant assisted over dentures for the lower arch and uh, a complete denture for the top because the bone and um, palate would give us enough support and stability for the complete denture to work without any implants and considering the arch form and the crest height for the maxilla um, we did not see it working 
um, yeah. for him to undergo implant assisted over dentures because for that he was going to have uh, extensive grafting procedures as well as maxillary sinus lift procedures and given his health conditions it was not a viable option yeah okay perfect so let's move into your phase of treatment let's get it in the center it's that's just the bright. same thing we can skip it so yeah that's everything that we yeah. kind of talk, talked about the so does that look better bright or darker it looks better darker doesn't it guys i think i think that's better on yeah the it looks screen. nicer yeah okay let's go with that so this is the patient as a at aesthetic trying uh since we were doing immediate so of course i couldn't set up all the anterior teeth when i did the aesthetic trying but i just wanted to verify the midline and the height of the mm. incisal edges which we can see it coincides with the smile line and patient was pretty happy with the results. It's got a bit darker apparently. Apparently that's better. Okay. Um, and then we've got your dentures here. Mm -hmm. So this is, a, this is at the time of aesthetic. Uh, when I was done festooning, it was just ready to go to the lab. I did the cast surgery, trimmed down the teeth on the cast, finished the setup. In this picture, we can appreciate so much that on the right side of patient's mouth, since he did not have any teeth, I was able to get that ideal occlusion in Centrix. But on the left, since he had his teeth left, there is some space between that la upper lateral and lower canine because of that um, non-uniformity of the crest because we were taking that teeth out at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, so it was like, it blew my mind when I was setting the teeth that how a complete denture differs from an immediate. Yeah, well, you've got to wait for that, the healing, which might be six months down the line, might it? You can yeah, it's to, done, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Final He's prosthesis. He's about to get in. his final prosthesis with his implants. You had surgery is, there? Mm-hmm, when we took the teeth out and gave him the dentures, uh, he opted for oral sedation because okay. he was a little phobic uh, for undergoing any surgical procedure. One of uh, additional points of him going under extensive maxillary sinus lift or uh, full mouth rehab with implants was that he was really, really scared of surgeries and he wanted to undergo sedations. Um, again, heavier sedation than what we gave him would mm. have uh, been general anesthesia and patient was not financially open to go under general anesthesia and uh, due to his health restrictions we couldn't give him any more so there were a lot of hindrances when it came to treatment plan in this case yeah and then we can see that a few more shots the of the part, denture here yeah these were his final dentures that we gave him the suction on that complete denture was amazing it was so good i had to like work my arms out to get it out it was really good straight back up uh so what what at what point are you with the whole case now is it is it been um yeah it been it's fit? been mm -hmm. it's been six months and next week the patient is coming in for his implant placements on the bottom and uh, I am done with the processing of uh, the lower denture with the locators that we're, that we're going to load right after the Im implant placement. Yeah, let's just put this to a, a more pleasant height. Um, so yeah, you've um, kind of finished off. Is there any reason you guys didn't go for an immediate placement of the implants? Because of his health conditions, we could not put his body under stress and risk uh, giving him an angioedema or anything related to his immunity. Mm. So we opt for, let's see how his body reacts to multiple extractions before we can go ahead and put implants in at the same time. Yeah. Um, how did you manage the, uh, the loss of ridge top left hand side? Nothing. We just, uh, with the bottom molding and everything, we had to like adjust for the occlusal height when I was doing the setup. Yeah, more, more about the suction. Is Was there any special techniques in terms of uh, impressions that you're using to make, make sure you had that really tight suction? Um, 
I focused a lot on border molding at the time when I was doing his final impressions. Mm. Uh, I made sure that before I take the final impression, I can make that custom tray have a very good suction with, with just that compound that we use for border molding. Yeah, cool. Uh, let me just scroll through. Oh, one thing that I missed out was that his uh, labial frenum was attached to the height of his um, crest. So we, ha we also did phrenectomy at the time of extractions. Mm, yeah, yeah, because that can be really difficult finding your, mm -hmm. uh, you just ruin your seal, won't it? I feel like yep. I'm doing a finals case with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a difficult case for me uh, yeah. because the patient management played a big role in it. Patient was going to Mexico to get these mini implants in and they had promised him, yeah, we can put like 16 implants on each of your arch and we're going to put a complete denture on those 16 mini implants. We're going to make you brand new. Then he's coming to me mm. with this video console that I'm trying to explain it to him that mini implants are no way reasonable to uh, be doing complete occlusal rehabilitation. Like I'm telling him the physics of what implants are capable of, but when a patient is getting so much information from different sources, it gets really hard to just manage the patient. Yeah, and uh, Bhaktash is asking, any difference in his oral hygiene after the six months that you last saw him, you know? Did he he's kind of doing a lot better. Mm. Yeah, he's doing a lot better. Uh, I have given him these denture cleaning tablets, denture brushes, and according to what I've seen over this uh, period of time, he's doing a lot better. Of course, now he doesn't have teeth, so he, does, he only has to like clean his dentures, so maybe it's a little easier for him. Yeah, um, yeah. It looks like he struggled with contact points uh, for some reason in, in the previous uh, photographs yeah. we had. Um, I'll move this back, I'm way too close to my face. Um, yeah, guys, make, get some more questions in if you have any questions about the case we just saw. And also make sure to join the giveaway if you haven't already. Uh, I like, have to join that giveaway. I it's like £1,200 worth of stuff. Uh, some of it is UK only. Unfortunately, the Loops company is UK only. And then the American companies didn't want to get involved. So, uh, shit, yeah. <laughs> so, sorry about that, about the Loops. But... Um, Everything else, I think, is pretty much uh, universal, and of course, I'm sending some of these out, so yeah, pretty good. Um, Kanwal is asking, please explain video and what does it mean? Video is vertical dimension of occlusion, which is the height of your occlusal level when your upper and lower teeth are in contact. Like, yeah, it's um, this is this. Video. yeah, yeah. Uh, it makes more sense it when you're from, in person. You measure it from the tip of your nose to the elevated level of your chin. So, how we do it is we place like a small piece of tape right here on the nose and on the chin, make a cross on it, and then from the middle point of that cross on the nose and chin, you measure it and it has to be two to four millimeters less than your resting vertical occlusion, which is when you're at rest, when your teeth are not intercuspated with each other. Yeah, uh, we use Willis gauge in the UK. I don't know if you guys have that uh, in the States. We, we have it, but we use it for different things. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, we, we, we use that quite a lot. We got taught uh, a lot to do stuff with the Willis gauge and the uh, in the video. This is a general question. Biggest advice for a pre dent student? This comes in everyone. <laughs> um, it's a very vast topic. Mm. There's so much you can do. Yeah, I, for the pre dent stuff, I'll, I'll signpost you. How about that? So uh, I've done a bunch of videos with guys where we're talking about pre dental issues yeah. and, you know, the how to how to get through the whole thing so if you head over to the youtube channel uh Vassant, uh head to the instagram live replays there are loads of uh how many is there 
there's 32 Instagram live replays where well, this will be on replay as well actually uh, sometime tomorrow there's also 48 podcasts and uh, 10 videos on Instagram for dentists so there's plenty of stuff there if you want trying to get into dentistry uh, loads of information that will give you kind of uh, a feel for dentistry if you're not sure as well that's probably probably a good place to start um, do you really think that his immune system will accept new implants? So it's been six months. How the implants uh, help? How how do you think it's going to go with the implants? Do you think you're going to be okay? Yeah. So since he did not, uh, his body did not react in a certain way after all the extractions that we did, and uh, given his dosage of immune uh, immune uh, immune suppressing drug, we are very very hopeful that implants will take. And, uh, and it's just two implants, so hopefully he's going to do great. Yeah, it's in a favorable site as well, so hopefully that will be okay. Yeah. Um, how do you check the midline with this particular case? Are you looking at the filter? I, uh, I was looking at his facial midline, which is where his nose was, and yeah. then the filter on the lips. Perfect, yeah. Uh, any further questions, guys? It's quite a simple case, really. There's a lot going on, but the actual what you've done is, is simple and yeah. you know gets to the. Not that that's a bad thing. I, I think people overcomplicate things sometimes, so uh, it's good to keep it was things. Complicated yeah. because of the patient management. Medical and the history. Health. Yeah, yeah. But dentally, it was uh, it's it's quite a nice flow. You know, we do these quite oh, commonly. Okay. Maybe not the implants in the UK. We don't do those very commonly. I wish we did, but. Uh, the money situation for a lot of people is not is not at that level, um, but probably a good a good result, especially with the loss of uh, bone in the top left and uh, some of the other issues that he's had. So, a good case. Any last questions, guys? Because uh, Masuma's stuck in traffic in the LA, parked up at the side of a road to do this live. Um, let me check the questions tab i think that's uh, everything from from my side i can't think of any other ones uh this has been really good though i i enjoyed this one because it's uh, a little bit different to a lot of the cases that we've done previously where it's all you know veneers and, um, and i like haven't that. done veneers to be yeah. very honest um i would love to see the x-ray implants will you be posting sure. it on your, yeah. on your instagram yeah. at some point yeah for sure Okay. I'm working on a lot of implant cases as of right now, uh, restoratively. I am currently working on four implants. That's great. So, yeah. yeah, it's it's gonna, it's gonna become uh, it's gonna be coming soon. How do you deal with TMD and your prosthodontic treatments? Mm. It's a very complicated question for me. Uh, we will get someone who's a little bit more specialized around oral surgery and TMD maybe to to deal with that. Uh, you've got to start with your non-surgical interventions. I think that's probably the first thing and then, yeah. and then go from there. I think, I think uh, that's probably where we start, you know, jaw exercises, night guards, night, yeah, night guards uh, after, after you've placed so you don't want to be uh, cracking things when you're sleeping. Um, perfect. I'll let you go today because uh, I think you've got to get to school, haven't you? And uh, it's been okay. good though. Yeah. yeah. All right. It was very nice talking about something other than just CAPIT applications and how I came from Pakistan here. Yeah, nice. a little bit different. We're, we're changing yeah. track, track with you. Um, guys, if you are new, make sure to follow Masuma because this is going to be on YouTube, I'm going to say you need to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Make sure to do that. Uh, I'm terrible at that. You know, in my videos, I, I repeat, <laughs> I, I, re, I reshoot that bit about eight times per video. Wow. Get it wrong every single time. Um, but yeah, guys, I just uploaded a video today, so make sure to check that out. Uh, Masuma is a tooth geek, which you can see there, and uh, she's in, in my story, so you can check that out and follow her page as well. Um, We'll be back soon with more with more cases. If somebody here has a case that they want to share, similar to what we've done today, uh, get in contact with me and uh, I'll have a look at it, see if it's something that we want to be doing. Um, I'm sure there, there's plenty of cases out there that we can look at 
it doesn't have to be a crazy, crazy case. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a few more guys. Uh, we'll make sure to join the giveaway, uh, but not if this is a replay because you'll probably miss the giveaway by then. But yeah, guys, if you were watching live or before Sunday the 15th or whatever it is, no, Sunday the, Sunday the 9th, is it the 9th? It's going to be Sunday? No, uh, 7th. 7th. If it's before Sunday the 7th, join the giveaway. If it's after, sorry, too late. Uh, but yeah, okay, thank you, Masuma. That's me oh, rambling. Thank you. I will see you soon, okay. hopefully. All right, bye bye. See you later, guys.